Hello everyone, it is Cam the Yellow Giraffe, and today I have a dual commentary with my friend Ben. So do you want to say hi? Yeah, um, hey guys, so I'm Melanie Jombot, and today I'm going to be doing a dual comment with Cam. So, I've had quite a few accounts, but they've all been like closed on that because I've got a lot of viruses on my computer. And I just play Minecraft and COD and everything. Okay, so uh, what kind of Call of Duties do you play? Like, what's your favourite COD? I think that my favourite COD is probably Call of Duty 4. Oh, yeah, that's... Sorry? I Call of Duty from, like, the first ever one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it, like, from the basics. And then I can remember playing Call of Duty 3, like, the day before Call of Duty 4 came out. Oh, yeah? And it just had all the new classes and everything. Like, you could create a class and do a new perks and everything. And it was probably the best thing that happened to Call of Duty. Nice. So then, uh, do you like the new Minecraft update too? Yeah, that's quite good. I think they're just making it a bit too, like, futuristic, really. I think it kind of backfired on them when it said it'll take less resources because, uh, for me it takes more. What about you? Are you seeing frame drops and stuff? Yeah. Okay, so then, uh, do you know what our topic is? Like, do you want to introduce it, kind of? Um, reasons why Call of Duty is getting less fun. Yeah, so do you want to start? Um, yeah, so, on Call of Duty, there is quite a lot of hackers and cheaters on multiplayer. Now, on Call of Duty 5, like, my dad used to be in the top 100 for free-for-all, but then, like, Call of Duty 5, it just all got hacked and everything, and he was down to, like, 2 million or something, so it kind of ruined everything. Yeah, COD 5 was a pretty fun game. Like, I know I can still play it on PS3, but it's, like, every second or third game, it's a pretty hacked-up game. I know I was hacked to like, uh, I don't know what level it goes up to, but I was hacked to the top level, so I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. But, so then, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks that it's getting all hacked up, and that they kind of have bad protection against it. Like, I know I've been playing Battlefield for a while. Have you ever played Battlefield, any no. of the games? Sorry? No, I just play Call of Duty, and I'm not really into Battlefield. Oh, yeah, well, I was playing Battlefield, and you don't really see any hackers, but there are a few glitches, like how they have vehicles in Battlefield, you know? Yeah, I've yeah. played it before. Oh yeah, like you can take a jeep and if you jump out at the right time it'll run over your own teammate and kill him, so... That can get pretty annoying, but for hackers, uh, in Battlefield there's like none, but there are some people who exploit some things. But it, it's not as bad, so then uh, what's your second point? Um, well really, it's just like all the FPS games are getting boring, because like... They're just copying the same thing over and over again, and every year it's the same thing. Yeah, well, Black Ops 2, I know, like, they're having a live stream today, the Black Ops 2 live stream. Yeah. Black Ops 2, it seems like they're trying to uh, fix how the Call of Duties are all the same with the looks and the features they're adding in, which is kind of like Black Ops, like, you know how they added in theater mode and stuff? Yeah. Like, now they're adding in live streaming in game, so that'll be kind of cool. And just a futuristic look, and the, the way the game's set up, I think, which will make it a different game than all the other Call of Duties before it. Yeah. So then, uh, the next point we have here is the quality in the games is better, but it seems they put less effort into the story and single player just modes as well. So, do you want to kind of explain that a bit? Well, they try and focus a bit more on, like, the graphics and how it looks and everything, but they kind of forget what they're trying to aim for. They just make it all, like, really boring and that. Yeah, it seems like when Modern Warfare 3 came out, it was way overhyped with all the the new features, they said we're going to be making the game awesome and stuff. And yeah. then they have all these cool features, but it seems they kind of lacked uh, the development in the multiplayer and stuff. Like, the lag compensation is horrible if you have a great connection, and it's like playing on uh, playing on your grandma's internet connection. So, <laughs> what's the next point? Um, well, it's the generation of have been playing Call of Duty for some time, and like... Yeah, again, they all get bored of it, because they all, they're all playing it at the same time. And, like, it just gets boring for them, really. So they yeah. move on to different games. Like, it seems Call of Duty started on YouTube kind of at one point. And then mm. Call of Duty started, and then Call of Duty on YouTube happened a year or two later, a few years later. And then there were just a few commentators then, so it was easy to get a partnership and get bigger and stuff. And then now it seems that there's Call of Duty is oversaturated on YouTube. Like, you can't go to a channel... A gaming channel, that is, without seeing Call of Duty somewhere on it. So, I think we're all kind of just getting bored of the Call of Duty series, but it seems that we're all kind of addicted to it, so we, we want to get rid of Call of Duty, but on the other hand, we can't really because we're addicted to it. So, that's how I take it. 
What do you think? I don't know, because like, when people start getting bored of it, like Activision and Treyarch or whoever makes it, they see that we're getting bored, so they add like new things to it, into it, like zombies and that. So yep. then that, that links us in more to it. And then linking in hackers and modders and that, they start modding it and cheating and everything again. So, yet again, it's all been ruined, so now we have to think of something else to make it fun. Yeah, but it, it seems a company with the horrible hacker and glitch patching is Infinity Ward. Like, uh, back in Modern Warfare 2, there was the map fuel in the DLC. Do you remember that map? Yeah. Yeah, and there was, like, a glitch where you could get inside of a rock, and it took them... Oh, oh right. A year to fix that glitch, but uh, Treyarch, when they find a glitch, it's patched within a week or two, so that's kind of different. Like, when I was playing Modern Warfare 2 when it's in its prime, you saw quite a few hackers, and it seems Activision and Infinity Ward didn't really do anything about it, which is kind of a shame, because Modern Warfare 2 would have been a good game, yeah. minus one-man army and all this other stuff in it, but whatever, we're not going to get into that, really. But Black Ops, it seems that they fixed all that, and that kind of added to the enjoyment of Black Ops. Yep. So is that kind of the end of our commentary then? It looks like it. Okay, so I'll have Ben's channel in the description if uh, if it's the same channel when I upload this. Uh, thanks for having a dual com with me, Ben. It's alright, and thank you for letting me do the dual com with you. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Goodbye. Bye.